Do you know this is the Biden-Harris administration? Are you aware that this is the Biden-Harris administration? And she is indeed the vice president. Not only does she inherit these numbers and contribute to them, she was the tie-breaking vote on $3 trillion of spending bills. So she is almost personally responsible for the massive inflation that you just showed on that chart. President Biden tapped Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris, to be the border czar. The criminal cartels are running the entry into America, and the numbers are at a 21-year high. Challenges that we're seeing at our southwest border. No one knows this better than the vice president. Welcome back, Warriors. It's me, Linda B. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. Today, we've got a bit of Scamala Harris. That's right. This is trending. We've got a lot of great clips. You really are going to want to stay to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's get into it. Responsible behaviors uh, among everybody in the community. And just because you legally possess a gun in the sanctity of your locked home, doesn't mean that we're not going to walk into that home and check to see if you're being responsible and safe in the way you conduct your affairs. Wow. We just saw something from her, didn't we? <laughs> you saw their faces like what just happened this woman is a trip this woman is a trip you saw how she ran off the stage she was like I, she couldn't get out of there fast enough see the thing about the difference between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump is Donald Trump will go into unfriendly territory we already saw now this is the National Association of Black Journalists you remember when he went when Kamala Harris was the post to show up and Donald Trump called them out saying, you brought me here under false pretenses and you weren't ready because your equipment wasn't working. Rachel Scott, right off the bat, says, let's talk about the elephant in the room. And you have been dining with whites. You had a white supremacist in Mar-a-Lago. You did this, you did this, you did this. And he was really being verbally attacked. But and Donald Trump stays for questions afterwards. A lot of times, like right after the presidential debate, the so-called debate, he stayed afterwards and took questions from various people. He doesn't need it to be handed to him on a silver platter. She does. She's a puppet on a string, <laughs> a puppet literally on a string. And you saw those people's faces at the NABJ. They were like, that's the clip I just showed you. They were like, what in the world? She ran. If she could run real fast, she would have jetted. She would have left skid marks on that stage, on that platform. Before we check into another clip, just, just look at everybody's faces after Kamala Harris left. Okay, let's just check. She's gone. Look at their faces. <laughs> look at the tall guy right here. He's like, what just happened? And look at her face. Look at everybody's faces. Couldn't see the other guy's face, but look at them. I mean, it's, they, it, there is this air of discomfort. Like, she just ran off. I mean, I know, see, they can softball her all they want to, but the people interviewing her are getting a feel for her because they're right there in front of her face. They are right there and they can sense something. You don't have to be the most perceptive person in the world to be able to tell something is not right here. Everyday prices are too high. Food, rent, gas, back to school clothes. That is called Bidenomics. A loaf of bread costs 50% more today. Ground beef is up almost 50%. There's not much left at the end of the month. Bidenomics is working. The price of housing has gone up. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. And we are very proud of Bidenomics. You know, this woman right here is such a scam. I want to bring up, well, we already know that she's lying and all of that, but I also want to bring up my live show that I did last night. I really need you all to watch it. It's called, you know, the thumbnail says giving up U.S. sovereignty. 
It's about U.S. sovereignty and what the Biden-Harris administration is currently doing right now. There is a very significant event that is happening this weekend. I need you all to really check out that video. Make sure, please, that you watch it to the end and like it. It's under my live videos. Like it, share it, comment, Watch all of it because it is super duper important. Now let's check out some more clips. Do you know this is the Biden-Harris administration? Are you aware that this is the Biden-Harris administration? And she is indeed the vice president. Not only does she inherit these numbers and contribute to them, she was the tie-breaking vote on $3 trillion of spending bills. So she is almost personally responsible for the massive inflation that you just showed on that chart. President Biden tapped Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris, to be the border czar. The criminal cartels are running the entry into America, and the numbers are at a 21-year high. Challenges that we're seeing at our southwest border. No one knows this better than the vice president. Kamala Harris, mostly silent after bragging about her role in helping shape Joe Biden's disastrous Afghanistan withdrawal. Just made a really big decision. Afghanistan. Yes. Were you the last person in the room? Yes. And you feel comfortable? I do. The body of American Hirsch Goldberg, Poland, and five others were, quote, brutally murdered. These hostages were discovered in the tunnels under Rafa. That's where Joe Biden and Kamala Harris put pressure on Israel not to enter for a month. And we're looking at about a million and a half people in Rafa. I have studied the maps. There's nowhere for those folks to go. That's the weakness that leads to the death of hostages. Are you aware that this is the Biden-Harris administration? She is indeed the vice president. Whoa. Now that's an ad. That's probably one of the best I've seen, except for that one that was very inspirational, um, Never Give Up. I, that's probably my favorite. But this is really up there in the top five Trump ads. The, just the very thing that she got caught, Kamala Harris got caught in her own words. So today we're talking about Kamala. Yes, Kamala Harris. This woman is a scam. She is a con artist. That is what she is. And we are showing proof of that. Now we can say something about someone, right? But then when you have the proof right there staring you in the face that this woman is a con artist and she's very, you know what? She's not even very good at that. (laughs) She's not even good at that. So we see that she owns the border. She owns the massive inflation. And you've heard me say a number of times she was a tie-breaking vote and is the real reason why really personally responsible for what we're going through right now with this massive inflation. And when she does an interview, guys, she says the same thing over and over again and really doesn't answer the question. But my question to all Americans is, do we want more of the same? Because really, Kamala Harris is going to repeat Biden's policies. She's the VP. And and if we're really being honest, Biden had some issues going on with him. And when that happens, the person who's supposed to step up is the vice president. So she is really personally responsible for all of this. Only thing she's going to do is continue the same policies, but do it in a younger body. She's saying we need a new path forward. We need a new path forward. Like she's a new generation. Yes, she's a younger generation than Jim Crow Joe. Yes, by 22 years, we get that. There are different generations, but it doesn't matter. It's still a demon crack that is going to continue the same disastrous policies. I don't care if it's a demon crack, it's going to be the same thing, the same mess. You get a rhino, same mess. Lots of wars. Yes, lots of wars. When you have a good president, notice there are no wars. And everybody is pretty much figured out what's going on. And that's what the left hates, that we have caught on. Now they're going to try. You guys got to know they got to come up with something different. They got to try something different because they got to keep trying to figure things out. Because right now the goal is no matter what, to keep Donald Trump out of the White House. That is their goal. The issue is they are fighting against God himself. And God, in my opinion, wants Donald Trump back in that White House. And if God wants it, our arms are too short to box with God. 
So I was raised as a middle class kid. I grew up a middle class kid. I grew up a middle class kid. I believe in the ambition, the aspirations, the dreams of the American people. You know, we have ambitions and aspirations and dreams. The ambition, the aspiration, the dream. I started my career as a prosecutor. I was a career prosecutor for most of my career. Having a background as a prosecutor. I intend to create an opportunity economy. Developing and, and creating an opportunity economy. What I imagine and believe and call um, an opportunity economy. I think I got it. She was raised as a middle-class kid. And when they ask her the question, now this is the question that they're asking her when she talks about the middle-class kid. Would you say people are better off today than they were four years ago? And then she goes off into the spiel about... I grew up a middle-class kid. I grew up a middle-class kid. We got that, Kamala. We know, girl. You grew up middle-class and your mother worked hard. My mother worked hard, too. I grew up lower middle-class. But when someone asks a question, she really kind of dilly-dallies around it. Kamala doesn't answer questions. That woman will not directly answer a question to save her life. And if she can't answer a question directly and accurately so we can know what you're all about because people really don't know you and how you would govern, then how do you think she would be as a president if she can't handle an interview? That's already softball. That's already her sorority sister moderating and asking her questions. That's already at a network that a good friend of hers is a high executive in. Uh, an interview where they've really given her an example, allegedly, of those questions. If she can't do that, something small, then what makes us think she can do something bigger? I know what she can do. She can destroy things. That's what she can do. We've got the border. We've got a massive influx of illegals in this country causing crime. And I told you guys, the Democrats destroy you know, Satan runs that party and the devil is no, those of you who know your Bible, the Satan, Satan comes to steal, kill and destroy. Steal. You got these smashing grabs. Yes. The other part, unaliving. Okay. The unaliving part. Um, that is with the abortion up to the moment of birth. And sometimes after we've got hostages that were taken away from us, the disastrous pullout in Afghanistan, where 13 Americans lost their lives due to the incompetency of the current administration, and destroy. They are destroying our country with these illegals. People are being drugged out of their homes. We've got these people from Haiti and what they are doing because they practice voodoo, some of them, yes. And if you don't need any more proof, some of us are just Trump deranged. And the only thing that can help us is Jesus himself. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You all be blessed. Love God, your families, these United States of America. And as I always say, march on, warriors.